Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's turn the radio off before I get copyright strike. Welcome to the video. Today we're in Forza Horizon 4 for another build. Although I may come across as extremely hyper, I've tried to record multiple videos. I'm not just saying this, boys. I've tried to record multiple videos and they all freaking fail. I am so pissed off right now. It's unbelievable. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are building the Nissan R32 GTS TT, baby. No, it's, it's an R32. 85 freaking grand in the hole. You guys know what's up. I, I'm balling for you. Got some orange juice to, comp to <clears throat> compliment the sour taste that RBs leave in my mouth. That was a meme, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the video. Okay. So you guys know, we have this front bumper from Horizon. Well, actually, was it in Horizon? I don't know what I'm freaking saying anymore. But it's been in pretty much all of the Forza games, motorsports, all of that. We have this amazing rear bumper. But before, it didn't have any side skirts. Oh, they didn't fix it. Okay. We still don't have side skirts. But you guys saw that Rocket Bunny rear wing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce... One of my favorites, Rocket Bunny wide body kits ever, the R32 GTR. This baby is so sweet. Today, we're going to be fully building this guy and ripping it around the city. So, you can see max tire at 315. That's some good meat, baby. That's just some good meat. I think we're going with these HREs. They're really simple. They still look pretty decent. 20s. Now I'm not that that hot boy. Maybe like 18s in the front, 19s in the back. That sounds wonderful, almost like I had that planned. I don't know, that looks hella tight. Anyways, as I was trying to say before I got distracted by the Cambrai of Hot Boy Fitment, I do appreciate all of you guys in the comment section who recommended builds. I do appreciate it. We've got an Evo 9 drag build. Now I was thinking about this like, yo dude, that'd be sick as heck. You know, all-wheel drive, drag slicks, get hella sideways. Well, actually, don't worry about the sideways part. Then I thought about it. I'm like, well, hold on now. Evo. Oh, yeah. Mitsubishi's not in the game. Freaking lame. lame as hell, dude. So, unfortunately, that will not be happening. We've got NA Miata Drift build. We do plan on doing that. Wide body in a Miata. We do have the Rocket Bunny kit, which once again, Pandam. I don't know. And right now we're building the R32. So if you guys have any builds you would like to see, let me know down in the comment section and I will feature you eventually. And we do not have a single turbo swap, which is what I was looking for. Other motors, we've got the LS and we've got the R35 swap. So, yep, that's it. Now for the perks, what do we have? just hoon it 10 percent influence you know what let's invest in the car i believe in this a little r30 poo here let's do some of these bad boys what is this 10 percent that looks great man that looks great cost three is this drift tap is that drift tap love tap 300 percent drift taps baby let's go e-brake scores increased i'm gonna run out of points at this point dude dude no clutch i was freaking drinking orange juice and still got this puppy going so it is an RB. It's pretty toned down. Okay, at fourth gear, I was going to say, it freaking grips up. 700 horsepower like that. Actually, how much power are we rocking? I'm not used to these small menus. Oh, oh. No, how do I do this? Filter, no. Cycle, badges, no. Uh. 818 horsepower, 600 foot-pounds of torque. 2700 pounds now it is the rb as you saw from the three liter displacement i'm pretty hyped bro this is the first r32 gtr in forza's history to have any form of wide body kit as far as i'm aware now they've probably had some like dtm spec cars or whatever that have been modified but this is the first where we can kind of have freedom of it. And we still don't really have freedom of it. I don't know. Like, honestly, turn 10, this is such a popular car. Get to licensing, you know? I don't know why they'd wait. And I don't know why I'm waiting to tune this. Because it's not even tuned yet. Tap, tap, tap. Anywhere, please. Thank you. Today, we're going to go ahead and come down here south. So I don't know why I'm leaving the festival this way. 
drift tap, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in style. Alright, what is this called? I forgot what this freaking town is called. Broadway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Broadway. Hmm. So, unfortunately, this whole town is like a grid. I guess it's kind of good and bad. It's good because there's lots of roads that line up but it's bad because they all line up and it's a square cube blocks you know it's not fun roads they're just blocks so i don't know it's not like freaking byron bay when you got like twisty ones there other twisty ones there it's not like that but we're gonna try and make do figure something out you know dude this looks like a little heads up drag right here Yeah, that's definitely what this is. Reminds me of that uh, episode of Top Gear with the old people car. Dude, that was probably one of the greatest episodes of Top Gear ever, like, hands down. If you haven't seen that, like, why are you watching this video, you know? Anyways, just to explore a little more. Actually, we're at the edge of Broadway right now. Let's head back into this city. Maybe get a tap, maybe get a tap. Dude, that was so satisfying. Also, hit the parallel parking job. Although we're on the wrong side of the street. I'm American, it's okay. Alright, so there aren't really many roads to drift here. I'm really, really wanting to work something out. I'd say our only chance is if we, like, that was a little late. Rip me. That was the line, not the road. All right, then I'm thinking we can come. Psst. What, am, what am I doing? I can't freaking car control today. Eventually? No, no, not eventually. Alright, I just want to give a quick excuse. What you're watching right now is the struggle of developing new sections. So, don't be mad at me. I'm an innovator. I'm basically Elon Musk, okay? Did the roadster suck? Yeah, but it got us somewhere. It's a pretty good place we're in right now. So, hey, trust the process and not the product, I get. Well, that doesn't necessarily apply. Never mind. I think I did that wrong. No, no, that was right. That was right. I thought I was going straight on that one, but it's straight on this one. That was a close call, baby. I don't know if that's going to freaking work, dude. The rain is not helping me either. I'd really appreciate it if it ring. All right, this truck's going to be right in our way, of course. He just went through us. Ah, 
actually, we might have just come up with something. It's a figure eight. I didn't even think about it. It's going to be really hard doing this bit, though, because it is uphill. So you're coming up this hill before I entered at this, like, 120 plus miles an hour. And then I scrubbed a lot of speed, but I didn't quite make this one. So that might work, though. Gotta get used to this. It's like a double weird air pin, air pin thing. A tap on the house. Beautiful. But I'm triggered. I see some roads that could connect. Hopefully it's higher speed because 800 horsepower slow is kind of annoying. You have arrived at your destination. So I'm thinking the start about here. See if we could fit like about one. Hit this thing. Come narrow. Hit that apex, which I freaking didn't. And that's probably it, because stretching all the way to that is kind of annoying. So we come around. Catch this apex, grab a lot of speed. Get angle, transition, which I didn't do. The, I don't know, that's really tight. And I feel like that's actually pretty solid. Like, it's super technical because of how tight it is. That's the equivalent to like parking lot drifting, but if you can get it, then, like that's great. And then, like, hold high angle to stay on the street. I don't know. Like, that might just freaking work. It's a lot better than the figure eight thing I was trying to pull for. All right, let's go get this, ladies. I just kind of want to get this area down. Because, like, I don't know if you should just, like, go super narrow there or what. It's really weird. Hey, I mean, it's a start, okay? It's a start. Yeah, there's no way you manji in that. Like, there's just no way. There's not enough space there between the turn at least. So, I'm thinking just go through that kind of shallow, cut through there shallow, come through here shallow. Like, all these are like inside clips. I'm so stressed, bro. This is stressful coming up with these. We're just going to bang off limiter because, like, what is feathering throttle anyways, you know? That's so awkward right there. I don't know. Like, it worked, but it's a little awkward. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, check out some more on the channel. We've built a Turbo Viper. 1800 horsepower crazy powerful crazy fast we drifted that guy around edinburgh is that what it's called it's something something like that i already forgot the freaking name and also the mazda rx7 fd video that will come out tomorrow i already tried to record that three times i'm kind of pissed off that like the car is just freaking cursed i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you did suggest builds down below i'll see you in the next one peace out and have an amazing day